I am so ready for today. Welcome back to your Daily Dose and welcome to Royal Caribbean's Private Island Perfect Day. But today, we are actually gonna be checking out their brand new adults only section and we're gonna be checking out a cabana which that cabana is an additional price on top of the day pass price price but when you book a cabana you get the day pass for free a little things to note before we head on out this just opened this year it's only been open for a couple weeks and to get access to hideaway beach prices vary per sailing and those prices are about anywhere from 40 to 100 dollars per person for the entire day. But there's five bars, there's a pool party atmosphere, it's adults only, and there's two additional food spots. And we're gonna see if it's worth it. Icon of the Seas has been a perfect, perfect trip. It's unfortunate, it's pretty much winding down here. We're still gonna have a couple vlogs here in the series. We still have about four more vlogs to pump on up, so if you aren't, aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's go to perfect day. I can't wait to check out this brand new area of their private island. Also, Casey and I did notice that there's different settings here. You can actually control it by clicking this movie. It's similar to Virgin. Oh, it's it, it's usually going to close, but I have the window open. And you can press sleep. It's going to dim everything. Evening, which we were just on. It's pretty neat. We kind of just discovered that, even though it's been there the whole time. And the bed right there, that is the second, second, second comfiest bed that I've had on a cruise ship. Nothing I don't think will ever beat the Disney Cruise Line beds because those are literally, I feel like we're sleeping on clouds. Beds. Comfortable. At least mine was. Woo! Perfect day. We can go. Let's go. Perfect day. Perfect day. Perfect day. Perfect day. I cannot wait. Now, this is Casey's first time at Perfect Day. Yes, it is. I cannot wait. I've heard such wonderful things about Perfect Day, yeah. and I can't wait to experience them myself. The cool thing is, Casey's been to the old Perfect Day, and I've never got to experience yeah. and that. And I don't even think it was called Perfect Day, I think it was just Coco K. Something. I don't know. I don't know. But it's going to be nice. We're getting off as early as we can, which is 9, but I think they went like about 15 minutes early, so we're good to go. And I believe another ship is here, and it's Mariner. Look, it's Mariner of the Seas, and that was actually the last Royal Cruise ship I've been on. We do have a little bit unfortunate news. We have an overcast day, and it's about 70. We live in Florida, so that's, that's pretty chilly cool for, for us. us. <laughs> it's a little chilly, especially for Miss Floridian over here. Yes. But we're not gonna let it bother us. I no. think it might be heated pool. We'll see. We heard that the at least the adult pool is heated. So I'm hoping for that. Cause like, as long as I have a heated pool, I'll be, I'll be perfectly fine. We'll see, we'll see. But I'm excited to just go experience this whole new section of Perfect Day and then show Casey the whole Perfect Day because she hasn't seen anything, anything. I haven't seen a single thing. Down to the gangway we go. I'm so excited to be back. It's gonna be a perfect day, perfect day at Coco. All right, Case, you're here. Hey, there's a hot air balloon. Yes, that's an additional charge too. I know, but that's pretty cool. I feel In the like water park. Springs. Well, welcome. Here it is. We think it's actually gonna be a better day than we thought. Yeah. A little overcast, but yeah. you know the heat's gonna get turned on here. It's gonna be a perfect day. I already see the sun peeking through. I think it's not gonna be as gloomy as we were expecting. So I think it's gonna be the perfect day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So we are just approaching the entrance and I'm already impressed. It just looks like a fun time and you can just like feel the excitement around you. Everyone just can't wait for a perfect day, including me. It's your first time, baby. Let's go. Now, Hideaway is actually going to be to the right instantly. You don't have to walk on in. Again, this is the paid only section and it's going to be here to the right. It is brand new. I thought it was going to be further in, but nope. It's right here to the right. Just before Thrill Water Park, which is one of the best water parks on planet Earth. I think we're gonna walk there. Let's do it. You can take a tram too. And here we go. Let's go check out this whole new section. I'll see how long it takes to walk. But again, you can you can tram it if you want. I was gonna do the water park too, but I think it was $120 today. There's now three things you can pay for here at Coco Cay. 
Oh, I forgot, just kidding. They have the zip line too and the, the balloon. There's, there's way more opportunities to pay for things. I think we have to tram it. Let's ask. That's gonna be to go deeper into Coco and I believe here is the pickup for Hideaway. Oh, beautiful. Look at this, y'all. Let's go, how blessed are we to be one of the first to be going here? Oh, you can walk. Brand new train station or trams, tram, sorry, tram station. But yeah, we're gonna walk. We're gonna see how long it takes to walk. The clock starts now. It's nine o'clock. Uh oh, sand. Gotta change shoes. Hideaway Beach right this way, and it turns into sand. Okay, 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 okay. Look how pretty this is. I was a little bit worried on how developed it was going to be. I mean, all they did was like get rid of some shrubs and add grass and I guess this nice little rope fence here. This is beautiful. There are those who are taking the tram. So now again, keep in mind, depending on actually what ship you're going to have, it's gonna be variable, variable pricing here for Hideaway Beach. So I believe Mariners was actually cheaper to go to this island. I mean, we're on the icon of the season in Agro, so they hyped it up for us. But technically our day pass was included because um, we, we got a cabana. And the cabana, again, a variable rate. It can be anywhere from 1.2 to like the 2000s per day. Just depends. The cabana holds eight people included in that price, and then you can add additional people, but they have to pay the day price, and I believe there's an extra $50 charge per person over the eight. And you can only add two additional people for a total of 10 in the cabanas. Oh, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. They've got a halfway, I think, there bus stop, so if you, you, you can't walk it, or if you're just like, oh, I can't do it anymore, <laughs> Tram will pick you up. The walk on over here took about five minutes. It's not bad, but you do have the tram option and here it is, all brand spanking new. Now to me, uh, based off seeing pictures, it kind of feels like an all-inclusive resort. And I feel like, you know, if you're a, a, a pro here at Coco de Coco K and have been here, you're probably gonna wanna stay here all day. That's kind of what I think we might do, but we need Casey to see the whole island. So we'll see what's in store, but we have the touch points here to make sure you have the day pass or a cabana. And let me show you a map here of where it is so you can visually see it. Pretty good look at Coco K. So we just walked, 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 walked. Five minutes, and here it is, Hideaway Beach. Cabanas, I believe, are going to the swim up ones all the way to the right. There's two places you can eat. It looks like Hideaway Hut and then Slice of Paradise. The Hideaway Bar where the pool party is gonna be. And of course you can swim in the very blue ocean. And then the only other place you can pay for is the Coco Beach Club, but that's gonna be all ages. This is like the only adult paying area. I believe o Oasis Lagoon is adults only too, but that's the complete complimentary one. Paid Hideaway Beach. Nice name because you technically are hiding away from everybody else. What do you say, babe? You ready to head on in? I'm ready, let's go tap our cards and get in. <laughs> let's go. Hideaway Beach. Hi. Hello. We have made it to the cabanas, the swim up cabanas. Oh my goodness. Follow us as we head on up to our own private cabana. It's tucked away into the far right corner for some extra tranquility and quietness. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, we're cabana, I think 86. One of the last cabanas, but that's nice because we're, again, all the way in the corner, as far as you can be here on Coco K. We've got it. I will say, though, the price is definitely very steep. But if you get a total of 10 people, technically, the, the two additional, each person just pays, uh, I believe, what, two something? Not just, but, you know, so it's a little bit easier. <laughs> this is essentially MTV Cribs, a private cabana here. Oh my gosh, we have the last one. Let's go, the corner suite. Look at this. Not a wrinkle in the pool. View of our beautiful icon and a better overlook of Hideaway. Wow. Unbelievable.
Oh, We're official. Uh, Hideaway right. Beach. That's perfect. Oh my. Thank you. Speaking of uh, thanks, we have to thank thank Zach over here. Zach, big dog, come here. Thank you I so guess. much for uh, inviting us along. I'm so excited to be here. I'm like, pinch me, get me off the floor. This is more than I expected. Like, this is amazing. It is unbelievable. You want to shout yourself out? So my name is Zach. Uh, I have a Glen Exploration Travel. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Give this guy a subscribe as well. Like this video. If Kyle gets 5,000 likes, he's going to come over to London and we're going to do a, a cruise out of Southampton. Deal. Deal. I like that. <laughs> With further ado, let's, let's have some fun. It's a good deal, actually. <laughs> Look at this, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cabanas. We have the end one. If you guys come here and have the day pass or get the cabana, make sure you say hi to this cabana because this is, you know, this is this is a moment in history here. But look at this pool. I caramba. Drinks are included if you have the drinking package. If you don't, it is not included in the price. But uh, kind of a private area, this is beach access. We've had some people come up and take pictures already. So you might have some people coming up to your cabana. Some people might like that, some people might not. But let's do a whole cabana tour of inside and show you everything that this really has to offer. And you guys can decide if it's worth the price or not. Views are great, views are great. But again, you can just buy the day pass anywhere from about 40 to 100, $120 a day and you can enjoy everything. The food we will get, we will try and we get it delivered actually to us for free, right? Well, welcome to an overcast, beautiful day here at Perfect Day. So we're gonna start off here. We have some few lounge chairs in the shallower end of the pool. We have the pool access right there or you can just do a cannonball. But inside the cabana, it's actually got some really cool features. I mean, I really haven't experienced much of cabanas. This is my first here at uh, Perfect Day. They have some on the other side. There's there's a lot of different tiers of cabanas, but this is the brand new one. So we're gonna have Casey kind of show you some stuff as we're walking on in here, especially with the chairs and the little table here. Do you want to show us that cool trick? So you think this is just a side table, right? Yeah. Right. I know. I thought that too. But... but there's more. <laughs> this is actually a cooler and they'll restock all the water that you want. If you want to make this into an actual table, you just move lock this it to the side. And then voila. And then if you can unlock it, you know you go the other way. Oh, wow. That slammed. That was okay. That's okay. That um, chair. Show the chair. Oh, both of them do it, but. This is just a regular chair. I don't know. Show me, Case. No, you're wrong. Because we thought it was a regular chair. Yeah. Look at that. A great use of space. Yes, it is. For sure. Super cool. Super cool I, in that. I, I've i been into one other cabana before and it was not this nice. This is insane. This is cool. Especially we have a nice one too because we're in the corner. But here we're going to start out with the, the bar section. Um, technically you have the drinking package or the refreshment. This is all included. You can just grab and go. They'll charge you if you don't. They know the counts. Here's a little control settings. You can control the music. Different little settings here. You can go Bluetooth, so you can control your own. You've got the On The Rocks band, and then a, the music source. I don't know what that is, but kind of cool they have smart controls in here. What is that, just storage? Yeah, just uh, garbage. Oh, okay. And then another little shopping unit. Nice little th sink here. Cool mirror yeah. with a, a beautiful, look at that reflection. That is unreal. What, what would you call this? A swinging chair? An egg chair? I don't know. That's what I would call it. But this is. This is well, Casey's in the egg chair, and if for some reason she needs help, we can just push to refill, and he, it's gonna vibrate on his watch, and he'll come right on over. Have some chairs here. I don't know if we're gonna be utilizing those chairs much because I feel like we'll be in in the pool, you know. But yeah, here's the cabana with the un. Believable view. Very steep price, but if you get 10 people in here, you know, might be worth it. I would totally want to split this if I was in a big group though. Same. This is, if you're already willing to pay the price to go to the adult section, then for a little bit more, you can get all this and it's like a super private adult area. That's a good point because yeah. lowest end it's 50, high end it's 100, yeah. so 10 people. 
Yeah, if you have ten, well, eight people really. Cause... Yeah, well, if I factor in, it's about like two, two fifty, two something like that. Yeah. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. And um, real quick here too, here is a look at the food. This is all the food on the island. On what we're about to see, we're gonna go do a tour here shortly. I just had to show you guys the the cabana first. Again, drinks aren't included unless you have the drink and beverage package. And here's all of the food. Is there a bag side? No, it just says cabana menu. All right. We don't even have to walk though. No, we don't. We just push, push the button. To refresh and our wonderful waiter will get us anything we need. Absolute beautiful. Zach, thank you. Legend. Messi's a really good cricket player, I heard. He's the best cricket player. <laughs> It's the inside joke. I just put my foot in the water, and this is exactly how I like my water. It's perfect. Now I think, I think Kyle's gonna think it's a little too warm, but I'll be chilling all day here, right here. It is a little bit heated. I think on really hot days they'll turn it off, but you know, let's let's give it a little, let's give it a dip. Oh wow, that's like bath water. On a day like Probably to this like though, it. it's <laughs> kind of needed. Kind of needed. I don't think anyone's over by us either. This is a welcome cocoa party. This so. is unbelievable. Like, it's just so nice. Again, you can utilize anything. You know, this whole pool is yours. It's like it's just like an all-inclusive resort, technically. Go swim, explore, like what we're about to do. Let's go show you guys what is included in your forty to one hundred and twenty dollars, and not just the private cabana here. Let's go. Just got some fresh fruits, some cookies. You already took a bite? <laughs> Woo! Party time! Woo! We missed it. It just randomly popped. Wow. I was about to press record too. This never happened. <laughs> More on this little beach access. So here's kind of like, kind of a disadvantage of having this. Depending on how many people have cabanas, it couldn't be too many people. If you're a really private person, this is like a walkway for people to go through here, then take a right to go to their individual cabana for the beach access. So depending on if people actually feel comfortable coming in our cabana to go to the beach, that's what this is for. They should have probably made it so it goes behind. Don't know why they didn't do that, but just, just some small little detail here. But what do you guys think? I wish it was more of a sunny day. It's still perfect out. It's beautiful, y'all. One else, a little touch here, the cabanas. I wish you would have been able to close this, unfortunately you can't close it. And there's also like a curtain rod thing up here. Can you guys see this? But there's no curtain rod. It would actually be kind of nice to have a curtain here as well. Like, that might be coming a little bit later, but that'd be cool to have. And then the ability to close this would be nice as well. One last touch, as far as our outlets, we've got one here. And then we have the other outlet over here, so only two of them. If you're on the drinking plan, here's everything that they have as far as drinks. Three Trulies, soda, and uh, ooh, mango hot cider, White Claw. I mean, first impressions. Wabawea. <laughs> Wabawea, this is... Wabawea. It's beautiful. They're all, uh, I will say, there's not that many people in the cabanas right now. I feel like they've jacked them up because of the inaugural cruise right now. So keep that in mind and then, yeah. but right now we're just gonna kind of just show you what this whole new area is all about so you can kind of better understand what you can do for your, your day pass mm -hmm. that is pretty much all included. Again, food is free, which is nice. That is nice, but even if it, you're in the other areas, they have other food options for you that are included. Correct, but I feel like, hey, how's it going? I feel like if you get this day pass, you're not gonna wanna leave this area. So uh, let's, let's see what it all has, you know? We're gonna start the tour from these cabanas. And it looks like we have a food place right over here and a restroom. But I do wanna show you the cabanas one second from over here because it is phenomenal. And if you need ADA access, it looks like it's gonna be here at the end cabana. Let me get a number here real quick. But it's gorgeous. Honestly, we thought it was gonna be cold today, but it is, Seriously, perfect. We're not sweating. And if those of you who are seasonal here for perfect day, you guys know this place gets hot. But this is this is everything. Cabana 77 it looks like for an ADA access. But here's what the infinity pool looks like on this side. Stunning. Kind of cool that we're here on day 1, opening day of Hideaway Beach. Hey baby. 
So it looks like this food over here is Slice of Paradise. It is a pizza, imagine that, a pizza place. And it opens, I believe, at 11 and goes until four. So you got five hours to enjoy the food here. All free, all included, all included, which is very nice. This is beautiful, see that? Looks like it's got lighting. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use that because we leave pretty pretty early. It's not dark when we leave. Looks like there's a bar in here too. Check out the bar. Drink packages do work here on Coco K if you have it. Again, this is the brand new section, adults only, 18 plus. We heard that the um, guava barbecue chicken's good, so we're gonna try that as well. They have an empanada, chicken or beef. So, so Casey and I, I think, have decided that we're gonna stay in here today. I think so. I honestly, I feel like there is a possibility that we'll be coming back here in the future, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna leave. Now that we have this for today, I just feel like it's not worth it to venture off. I do agree, and it kind of leaves a little mystery for Casey on what Coco Key, or Coco K, however you say it, has to offer. So I think it's kind of cool. So we're gonna stay in here because we don't wanna leave this. You know, the day pass or a cabana, it's very hard to leave it. So I think we're gonna stay here and, and enjoy this whole new section of perfect day. And let's continue this tour here. Oh, it looks like the women's is on this side and the men was over there. Got some juice machines, some they showers. Some nice juices here too. Different do they? than on the cruise. What do, what do they have? Let's see here. What's Case talking about? Lemon lime, that is not for me. Tropical mango, uh huh. Strawberry kiwi, uh huh. And water. <laughs> the backside <laughs> of water. There's also different tiers of cabanas here. There's one by the main pool. We'll check those out here as we go on up. Actually, let's go to the sand. This is more fun, eh? All these chairs and um, what do you call the hammocks are all first come, first serve. Yeah, Kyle language, right? I could have called it something totally different. Vibrant colors. Ooh, here's the other infinity pool. This is where the pool party is. And honestly, there's a lot of people here for the first day. This really reminds me of Bimini Beach Club, Virgin Voyages. We need to go Without again. all the floats and the half naked crew members. <laughs> Speaking of that, that new ship is coming over here from Miami, April, May. We gotta yes. go on it. Valiant Lady is making its way to Miami. We and gotta I do it. Scarlet Lady, the one we went on in March, is going to Barcelona. Barcelona, I think, yeah. Yeah, so they're swapping places. They're swapping places. Um, I guess now that we're down here, just look at a little at the beach here. No one's really in the ocean. It is cold out, so that's not heated. There's only literally like one person swimming. Lots of chairs. People did get here pretty early. We are here really early. Do you see the oh, tables us? over there too? Oh, <gasps> get out of here! Yeah, they Wait. Have tables in the in the water. In the ocean. In the ocean, yeah. Right there. Really cool. Should we go feel how cold it is? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Not as cold as I was expecting. <laughs> um, I like how it's very not wakey. This is a very chill pool. That's for sure. This is the kind of Kind of water that you can just sit right here and just let it come to you i love doing that. yeah i love this too this is actually unreal and i actually kind of like that casey's not going to experience perfect day like entirely until our next cruise so if you guys aren't subscribe because casey <laughs> will give us a pretty raw and she'll have a nice you know opinion when we come back so can i can i genuinely say that i will have experienced perfect day Yes, is of course. Mine, like the extra perfect, perfect day. I mean, honestly, because this is like an upgrade. It's the newest perfect, thing. Yeah. Okay. I, how can we leave that? You know? Yeah, it's very hard. Very hard. We do have to say hi to our friend here who is here, though, so we'll have to communicate that somehow. And up we go. Casey did have a good point. This is kind of like Bimini. Feels like it, but it's way, it's way bigger. And that's not even the whole part of Perfect Day. So here's the other cabanas. I don't know the prices on this, but definitely not as much as the pool swim-up bar one. 
And here is this. Here is this. Wendy is in the chat. Woo! First guest here, baby. Let's do it. First paying guest. Yes, correct. We are our paying guests. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa! They don't have that anywhere else that perfect day. That is cool. It is that. That is. They do advertise this as a pool party. Wow. Even these cabanas are nice. They just don't have a pool. But look at these. These are, I believe, first come, first serve. These are first come, first serve. By the way, this pool is heated as well. And this is the part. There's a lot of people here. This is nice. Like, not a lot, lot, but like more than I kind of expected. But it is the first day after all. I feel like it is really nice though, because the more people that pay for this, the less crowded it'll be over there as well. So I feel like it kind of distributes people a little bit nicely. That is true. Yeah. And honestly, who stays on the ships when you're here at Perfect Day? You, you gotta get off, y'all. You gotta get off. Look at this sight line. But if you're on the ship, wow. you get the whole ship to yourself. Look at this. <laughs> that is true, babe. This is cool. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is for the, oh, this is ADA. That's nice. The bar here is swim up. Look at that view. Oh, oh, oh. This is kind of just like the other one case that you haven't seen. No, no, no. The other, uh, there's the one over there. But there's actually more to order drinks here, and it's actually shaded better. I do like that. Now, I believe the tram drops you off here. Where we walked in was uh, the walking path, but we saw a lot of people walking on this way. This is the tram drop off. Oh, they also have towels here, so don't need to bring any. There's some restrooms over here. That's boring. Let's go back down here. This is where we're at. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at the other adult section, they don't have the smoke. Those can't. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Oh, my now, this lordy. This is a nice swim up bar. Wow. See what I mean? You, like, even if you have a cabana, you can come here, obviously, and enjoy anybody here can do this. This is all day pass. Again, the cabana is included with the day pass. <laughs> Lots of seating. I kind of got a feeling the smoke's gonna go off right now. This is what I would do it. Let's see who does it. Nope. Look at this view though. Wow, oh wow, what? Unbelievable. He just said the water's nice, it's crazy. <laughs> I was not expecting these to be heated. Neither was I. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they turn the heat down when the heat comes up outside. It's about 70 degrees. I know my family back in Wisconsin would love this. Look at this shot. It's even better in, perfect, in person. Trust. Let's go this way, Case. By the way, for those who are smoking, we do have a smoking section. I think they're all on like the outer rim. So smoking section, they do have it here as kind of expected. Juice, bars, again, five bars here, just five. And we're pulling on up to the kind of the front. This is where we have some more food. And again, with the cabana, all we gotta do is push that button and they'll go get it for us. This is a pretty far walk from the cabana, so it is really nice that we just order with our waiter. Mm -hmm. So we kind of save some time there. I mean, for reference, from where we are, our cabana is way over there. So that's very, very nice that they they do that. It looks like you can order drinks here. They're gonna have that's people nice. walking around. It's just like perfect day in the other sections. Those are cool cups they have too. You see that? Oh yeah. Real quick, let's take a look at this menu on what they, oh, they're open. Oh my gosh, it smells so flipping good. They have the hideaway burger. Beef burger or cheeseburger. Hideaway crispy chicken sandwich. Crispy chicken sandwich. Caribbean coconut shrimp basket. They have funnel, oh, cakes. They have funnel cakes too. Holy crap. Yeah. I, I, I do expect this food to be heightened because we are paying extra. We'll see if that's the case. Also, we were told that this opens at 11, but it's only 1025. So maybe they were just ready. So you might be able to get food earlier than you expect. Royal, you did. A very good job and if it's like 40 bucks I hope that's the price all the time but I feel like it's gonna fall in between 70 and 80 if I had to guess 
I think it also depends on the ship. If you're yep. on a smaller ship and you come here, then it's probably going to be a little bit more um, affordable than if you're on the Icon or some of the newer ships. Icon's going to charge you a leg and a fork. Whatever that is. I don't know. That's just <laughs> Kyle. That That's just Kyle. This is actually where we entered. When does the oh this is unbelievable. Wow. You can actually pipe in this music into the cabana. Oh yeah, that's what it yeah, is. So that's cool. Yeah. That's unreal technology. And it we're pretty far from there. Oh, this is on the rocks bar. Dude, this place is incredible. And then we have a view over ship right here too. A little bit closer than the cabana, you know? She is stunning. Look at that. Sorry to the Mariner, but she's the prettiest girl. Yeah, sorry, Mariner. <laughs> Look at that. Prettiest girl in school. Oof. Wow. All right, well, that's kind of a quick tour of the place. We're going to go back and go in the infinity pool for sure. Real quick, we did hear they might have fireworks when we leave. We'll see. We'll see. If you missed uh, the boarding day one, it was going off during the day. We couldn't really see it, so who knows? Apparently we'll it was on the schedule and then it's been removed, but maybe it'll come back. We'll see. We're FaceTiming my parents and showing them this, but look at the infinity here. It's beautiful rocks and there's rocks up there. <laughs> Woo! Wouldn't expect anything less. Nope. How was it? Oh, it's nice. Water's perfect, but like today's extra cold, so you can kind of feel it when you get out. But perfect. Um, yeah. Never experienced anything like this. Do you guys see this? Like, it is incredible. Definitely um, a very high price for sure. But I'm here to enjoy it and just be here. Can't beat this. Never thought I'd say this, but this kind of makes me contemplate getting back on the ship that is already such high quality. Definitely get a day pass. Get an Afford a Cabana. Breathtaking. It is breathtaking. It's also really quiet too. Um, you can hear the music over at the main party area, which I feel like is one of the biggest draws of this section. And I feel like it, I don't know if it, 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 there's like a cap of capacity, um, which pool is going to be better for the pool party? I don't know. That one does seem like a cool vibe. Definitely come check it out. But what do you guys think? Welcome to paradise. It's unbelievable. I'm so happy to be here. Well, cheers, cheers. buddy. Cheers. We're a travel spree. Again. And we are, this is an absolute chugger. An absolute chugger. I've got a Coco Loco in my Coco Cake Cup. I had to be fancy. He said he got me a Blue Long Island, but it's green. And it tastes like pineapple. I don't think they had blue curacao. Oh, it's so good though. Yeah, the thing about it is when we used to cruise with Kyle a couple years ago, he would drink blue Long Islands. So I was like, yeah, bring it back. Bring started it, back. With, it started with regular Long Islands and I found out what blue Long Islands were. And yep, here we are. <laughs> <sighs> Bye guys. <laughs> All right, the food has just oh, arrived. There's goodness. the guava pizza. I didn't know we get a full pizza. We get a full pizza. We have shrimp one sad grass, mozzarella man. stick. <laughs> oh, shrimp. coconut shrimp. Oh, here's french fries. French fries, they look like normal french fries here What's at Coco. And then this should be... Oh, more mozzarella. Wait. Okay, so we have oh, nice. one. Coconut yeah. shrimp. Oh! This is good shrimp. I don't even think I told you guys, Chris is here with Jojo somewhere. <gasps> There's Jojo. All right, all right. Hi. It's hot. Hi. Oh. Hello. <laughs> this coconut shrimp no. is unworldly. It might be better than the shrimp cocktail. I actually had a shrimp cocktail last night. Insert clip, Kyle. Okay. It's a Kyle Crew staple. Shrimp cocktail, everybody. It was good. It was really good, but honestly, this coconut shrimp is unbelievable. Oh my banana sauce. It was amazing. Look. <laughs> it's hollow. There's no cheese in it. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> I haven't really checked in with you guys in a while. We're kind of just having fun hanging around. I don't know if I said JoJo's here yet, but JoJo's here. Yo guys, it's crazy. I just keep thinking about the first time we came here, went on all the rides in the water park, this place was empty. I never thought years later, we'd still be enjoying this island in a whole new way. The best food by far. 
Coconut shrimp. All I gotta say is what a day the day has been. Let's hear JoJo real quick. What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? You sound. You sound like my voice. You sound like Pauly D. DJ Pauly D. Yeah, man. It's, it's JoJo's from the Jersey Shore. I Woo! I actually am. That's the crazy part. But it's been a fun day. <laughs> um, nuts, guys. It's time to go to bed. No, it's time to go back on the ship. Difference. I want a hot tub right now. Jojo got up late, so he can't go to bed. Wait, no, I, I woke up early. I woke up at like 9 a.m. <laughs> His voice is crazy. I'm, is it not? It's been it's seven crazy. days. I lost my gosh darn voice. <laughs> it has been a vibe. <laughs> Y'all, here we are about, I don't even know where I recorded. I just kind of had fun. This was a fun vibe. Well, here we are, like, it's, what time is it? It's 4.30? 4.10. And, um, we're about to head back on the ship. It's a good time. What a time, babe. Today was truly the most fun day that I've ever had on a cruise port, or at a cruise port. So long as I've stayed at perfect day. Um, we were here also from same, open to close. I, <laughs> I can't wait till Casey, Casey, oh my gosh, Casey comes back. It was a time and a half. It sure was. I hope you guys enjoyed so far. We're gonna hop back on the ship. I don't know how much we're gonna vlog, but um, you guys are gonna have a couple more vlogs during this series. But we wanted to post this one because this was the first day we were here. Mm -hmm. First day was open to guests, and we wanted to get it in video, so. Yeah, I can't believe we were the first ones ever to be at the Cabanas. It was unbelievable. That is so cool. We can always say that we were the first. We were here with tons of friends, yes. tons of YouTubers, tons of influencers, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. It's really crazy seeing everybody in one spot, just having fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we had cameras, but like we were just hanging out, having a good time the whole time. So it was a blast and a half. Blast and a half. Let's get back on sure. that ship. Let's go. Let's go. You know, I think we're like, like the last guests to be leaving too. Honestly. Seems rather empty. Are we going to be the peer runners in today's video? I think so. No, well, it looks yeah, way it. cooler when no one's there. Yeah, Holy yeah. cow. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. We are the peer runners today. It's 4.15. We have 15 minutes to get all aboard. If we don't, I guess we got to stay here. <laughs> we are peer runners. Peer Let's runners. go. I've never been peer runners before, but they're not going to leave us here, right? If they, no. if they leave us here, this would be a blessing. Oh God, watch out. And there is our ship. The one on the left, if you didn't know. We are quite literally, I think the last people getting on. This is awesome. This is actually nuts. I actually just witnessed the people that give the ropes to head on back. We are quite literally one of the last groups to reboard. I mean, think about it, if you miss the boarding, <laughs> Coco, okay. It's kind of, it's, 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 I don't know. It'd be nice to visit. it. On we go. <laughs> On we go back. I come to the seas. Back to the cities. On the sea we go. Fortunately, this is our last day, but you guys will be about, I think you guys, y'all will have about four more videos to go. What a series it's been. And on we go. I can't read it. Can you read that to me? Whew. We're back on the ship. What a time to be alive. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We have videos going up until the 7th. That was the best day ever. Technically, this is our last night, but you guys got many more, more adventures here the next couple days. Um, you'll see our, our goodbye video tomorrow on the ship, but... I had to pump this one out because it was the cabana. It was the new island area, and I just had to. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, and that was it for your daily dose. So what a wild night we have in store. That's off camera. Follow my Instagram, and today was. Love you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.